video, I will show you how to practice backhand serve. A serve is a starting point for every badminton rally to begin the games. Backhand serve mostly used in double, but nowadays many single player also often use backhand serve to gain the attack immediately or to be more aggressive. Both serve will beneficially for single player or doubles player. In general, there are two types of backhand serve in badminton. Backhand low serve or backhand flick serve. Although these two serve can be explored to many different variety of serve with different purposes, but in this video, I just want to show you how to practice your basic backhand serve. Number one, backhand low serve. This is how backhand low serve looks like in doubles. Backhand low serve is to hit the shuttle from one surface box to the opposite diagonal surface box. The shuttle must travel slightly above the net. And land it near the opponent short surface box. How do you practice your backhand low serve in double? Standing position near the T-line of the short service line. Step 1. Ready position. Positioning your racket foot in the front near the short service line and non-racket foot in the back near the center line. Put your weight on your back foot and keep your body relaxed with shoulder facing toward the receiver. Step 2. Racket position. Apply a short backhand grip for a better control. Transfer your weight from your back foot to your front foot. At the same time, positioning your racket head and the shuttle in front of your body. Make sure your racket head flat or face forward. Keep your right elbow about chest level, racket head about below the waist level. Hold the shuttle on the tip of the feathers. Place the shuttle right into your racket string until the racket head touching your palm or wrist for a stable control. Step 3. Push the shuttle gently. Apply backswing motion and push the shuttle forward gently. Contact point is below your waist level. Follow through and keep your racket in front of you. You can also bring your racket up as soon as you make a contact with the shuttle. The purpose is to threaten or to pressure the opponent to leave so that you can gain the attack immediately. Now let's talk about backhand low serve in single. And this is how it looks like. How do you practice backhand low serve in single? Standing position is about 2 to 3 feet behind the short service line. Step 1. Ready position. Put your racket foot in the front and non-racket foot in the back. Wait on your back foot and keep your body relaxed with shoulder facing towards the receiver.
Step 2. Push the shuttle gently. Transfer your weight from your back foot to your front foot. At the same time, bring the shuttle in front of your body. Push the shuttle forward gently. Be sure the contact point is below your waist level. Follow through and bring your racket up as soon as you make a contact with the shuttle. The purpose is to threaten or to pressure the opponent to leave so that you can gain the attack immediately. Number 2. Backhand Flick Serve And this is how Backhand Flick Serve looks like in double. Backhand flick serve is to hit the shuttle from one surface box to the opposite diagonal surface box. The shuttle must travel high and deep about 45 degree angle into the back court and land it at the back near doubles long surface lines. How do you practice your backhand flick serve in double? Standing position near the T short service line. Step 1. Ready position. Positioning your racket foot in the front and your non-racket foot in the back near the center line. Put your weight on your back foot and keep your body relaxed with shoulder facing toward the receiver. Step 2. Racket Position Apply a short backhand grip for a better control. Transfer your weight from your back foot to your front foot. At the same time, positioning your racket head and the shuttle in front of your body. Make sure your racket head face forward. Keep your right elbow about chest level and racket head about below the waist level. Hold the shuttle on the tip of the feathers. Place the shuttle right into your racket string until the racket head touching your palm or wrist for a better control. Step 3. Flick the shuttle. Apply a short backswing gently. Make sure the swing motion looks similar as your low surf. Make the opponent think that you will be doing a low surf. Flick hard the shuttle upwards by pressing on your thumb and forefinger at the same time to generate power. Be sure the contact point is below your waist level. Follow through and bring your racket up as soon as you make contact with the shuttle. The purpose is to threaten or to pressure the opponent to leave so that you can gain the attack immediately. Finally, let's talk about backhand flick serve in single. When you apply this serve, make sure your swing motion appears exactly the same as your low serve motion. The whole idea of using this flick serve is to deceive your opponent. Let your opponent assume you will be doing a low serve, and the moment your opponent react, change the pace to flick serve. And this is how you practice your backhand flick serve in single. Standing position is about 2 to 3 feet behind the short service line. Step 1. Ready position. Put your racket foot in the front and non-racket foot in the back. Wait on your back foot and keep your body relaxed with shoulder facing toward the receiver. 
Step 2. Flick the shuttle heart upwards. Transfer your weight from your back foot to your front foot. At the same time, bring the shuttle in front of your body. Then flick hard the shuttle upwards. By pressing on your thumb and your forefinger at the same time to generate power. Be sure your contact point is below your waist level. Follow through and end your racket in front of your body or you can bring your racket up to threaten or to pressure the opponent so that you can gain the attack immediately.